back to my channel. It's Wednesday. That means we're crocheting today. And I've picked another illustrated instruction from my crochet book of 433 different patterns. I skipped over to the motifs today um, as opposed to doing the Afghan stitches for blocks because I love this. This just looks like sunshine to me. And I want to feel some sunshine today. So we're going to do motif number 252. Are you ready? Okay, for this I am using just some scrap yarn that I have um, from my, my granny square basket. Um, so, and it's a worsted weight medium number four. I don't know what brand this is. Uh, I'd venture to guess it's probably Big Twist, to be honest. And for this I'm using an eye hook. Okay. I also have myself a cup of coffee and today blasting in my earbuds I have my favorite podcast that's spooky they just dropped a new episode today so I'm excited so hey let's get busy all right just like most granny squares we are going to start with a chain but before we get to that chain you guys know how it is we are going to make a slip knot take the end of your tail wrap it around your finger crisscross. Take that off of your finger and push that tail up in there. Grab it, pull it down, slip knot. Look at there. All right. Let's put that on our hook. I'm going to scooch in. I brush my teeth. Let's get a little bit up close and personal. Are we ready? So for this block, we're going to chain eight. So to chain, what we're going to do is grab our yarn with our hook and we're going to pull it through the loop that's on our hook. That's one chain. And we'll do that again. We'll grab our yarn and pull it through the loop that's on our hook. That's a chain two. Grab your yarn and pull it through the loop that's on your hook. Chain three. You with me here? Chain four. Chain five. Chain six. Chain seven. Chain eight. Look at there. We just chained eight. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the very first chain that we made to make a loop. So take your hook, put it into that first chain that we just made, and then grab your yarn and pull it through the chain, and then pull it through the loop that's on your hook. That's a slip stitch, and we just made a loop doing that. And then go ahead and chain one. So there's our loop for our motif. Now in this loop that we just made, we're going to put 20 double crochets. Easy peasy. Okay, you with me? Yarn over your hook. And then put your hook into the center of that ring and bring, grab that yarn, pull it up, and you've got three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two, and grab your yarn and pull through two. That's a double crochet. That's one. We need 19 more. Yarn over. Put your hook back in the center of that loop that we made. Grab your yarn, pull it up, three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull it through two. Grab your yarn and pull it through two. Double crochet. I'm going to show you one more time, okay? Yarn over. Go into your loop with your hook. Grab your yarn, pull it up. Three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Grab your yarn and pull through two. That's three double crochets. We need 17 more. So go ahead. Put a total of 20 double crochets in this loop and I'll meet you over here on this side. And here is my 20th double crochet that I'm putting into this ring and now we need to slip stitch this row together and to do that you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch that you made very first double crochet right here 
and you know that it is to find that stitch here's your first double crochet that's where we joined it together but here's your first double crochet post and directly to the right of that that's your first stitch right there don't go into here where we did a chain one to start our row go into that first stitch okay so I'm gonna take my my hook I'm gonna go into that first stitch I'm gonna grab my yarn I'm gonna pull it through that stitch I'm gonna pull it through the loop that's on my hook that's a slip stitch and we just joined row one look at that and now chain one and for this round we are going to put a double crochet right into that first stitch that we did right here that we just slip stitched into so yarn over go into that first stitch grab your yarn pull it up you got three loops on your hook grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn and pull through two oops and then chain one and then double crochet into your next stitch right here grab your yarn pull it up you got three loops on your hook grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two chain one that's our pattern for this row two so we're going to double crochet into our next stitch there's our double crochet and we're going to chain one and double crochet into our next stitch chain one and that's it all the way around double crochet chain one in each stitch all the way around double crochet chain one okay and I'll meet you around at the end of this row double crochet chain one all the way around okay here I am at my last stitch so I'm going to yarn over I'm going to do a double crochet in that stitch I'm going to chain one and I'm going to slip stitch this row together in the first stitch that I made so right here and I'm going to slip stitch I'm going to chain one and that is the end of round two. Let's go to round three. All right, now let's start round three. We're going to be doing three double crochets together in each chain space all the way around, okay? And you guys have already done your double crochets, so you know how to do a double crochet. We're just going to do a little spin on it, okay? So yarn over and then put your hook into that chain space there. Grab your yarn pull up a loop if you've got three loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two and then stop now yarn over again go back into that same chain space grab a loop pull it up you've got four loops on your your hook grab your yarn and pull through two and then grab your yarn and pull through two and then stop yarn over and go back into that cha same chain space grab up a uh, grab your yarn pull it up and you got four loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two and then grab your yarn and pull through three so see how it kind of makes a little petal like a like a flower petal there and then you're going to chain two okay so let's do this again we're going to move over into our our next chain space so yarn over go into that chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop and you've got three loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two loops and stop yarn over go back into that same chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop you've got four loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two grab your yarn and pull through two and then stop yarn over go back into the same chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop four loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two and now grab your yarn and pull through three we've done it again and chain two 
Okay, I'm going to show you one more time, and then you're going to work all the way around in the chain spaces, and I'll meet you over here. Let's do it one more time. Yarn over, go into your chain space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, grab your yarn and pull through two and stop. Grab your yarn, or yarn over, put your hook back into the chain space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Stop. Yarn over. Go back into that same chain space. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You've got four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Now, grab your yarn and pull through three. And chain two. Okay, you continue this all the way around and I'll meet you over here. Okay, I'm coming up on the end of this row here with my three double crochets together. So yarn over, grab a loop, three loops on your hook, grab a yarn and pull through two. Yarn over, go back in the same space, grab your yarn, pull it up, grab a yarn, pull through two. Grab a yarn, pull through two. Yarn over, back in the same space. Grab a yarn, pull it up. Four loops on your hook. Grab a yarn, pull through two. Grab a yarn, pull through three. Chain two. This is going to finish up all our spaces. Now we need to slip stitch our row together. I'm going to find my first stitch right there. And I'm going to put my hook in that first stitch. Grab my yarn. Pull up that loop and pull it through the loop that's on my hook. And I've slip stitched that row together. And we're going to chain one. And that's the end of row three. It's so pretty. Now let's go to row four. And with row four, we're going to be building our corners. And so to do that, we are going to start in our first space right here with triple crochet. For a triple crochet, yarn over two times. Wrap the yarn around your, your hook two times. Put your hook in that chain space. Grab your yarn, pull it up. You've got four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. And that's a triple or treble crochet. Let's do that again. Yarn over two times. Go back into that same space. Grab your yarn, pull it up. Four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. One loop on your hook. Treble crochet. We'll do that one more time. Two times around your hook. Put your hook in that chain space. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through two. Two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and pull through to one loop on your hook. Now we have three treble crochets right here in this first chain space. And now we're going to chain two, one, and two. And we're going to put three more treble crochet in this same space because we're building our first corner. So this is going to be our corner. So pull your work over just a little bit because we got to make room for three more treble crochets right here. So yarn over twice. Put your crochet hook back into the same space we just worked in. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop. We've got four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Treble crochet twice around your hook. Put your hook in the same space. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Four loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. Grab your yarn, pull through two. There's our second 
treble crochet and then twice more around your hook back into the same chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop four loops on your hook grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two and there is our third treble crochet and then we're going to move over to our next chain space and we're going to put three double crochets so you know how to do this yarn over put your hook into that chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop go through there there's one double crochet and then we're going to do a second double crochet and a third double crochet because you know how to do double crochets because we've done them through this whole pattern so there's three double crochets in the same space and then we're going to move to our next chain space and we're going to do three single crochets so put your hook into your chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop two loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through both that's a single crochet let's do it again take your hook go into your chain space grab a loop grab your yarn pull up a loop two loops on your hook grab your yarn pull through both loops that's a single crochet we're going to do it one more time. So put your hook in the chain space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, grab your yarn and pull through both loops. So now we have three single crochets in this loop. And now this is our this is our pattern. So we're building up to make a corner and then going down the side. So now we need to repeat this backwards. So we're going to do single three single crochets in the next space. Three double crochets in the next space. And then we're going to do three treble crochets and then we're going to chain two and then three double crochets in all in the same space and then we've made one side and that's our pattern all the way around to make a square so let's mirror what we've done starting with the single crochet and working our way back to this chain space here so in our next space we're going to do three single crochets so put your hook into the chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop two loops on your hook grab your yarn and pull through two single crochet go ahead and put your hook back into that chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop two loops on your loop hook grab your yarn pull through both single crochet one more time go ahead and put your hook into the chain space grab your yarn pull up a loop two loops on your hook grab your yarn pull through both there's your third single crochet now we're going to do three double crochets in this next chain space and you know how to do that so there's one double crochet and there's two double crochets and then there's three double crochets now in this chain space here we're going to work on our corner and that's going to be our three treble crochets chain two three treble crochets all right here in this one chain space so go around your hook twice with your yarn put your hook in this space grab your yarn pull up a loop grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two there's one twice around your hook go back into that same chain space grab your yarn and pull up a loop grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two that's our second treble crochet twice around your hook go back into that same space grab your yarn pull up a loop grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two grab your yarn pull through two there's our third treble crochet now we need to chain two because we're making a corner so there's one and two and now do the same thing pull that over you're packing a lot of stitches into that one little chain space twice around your hook into the chain space pull up a loop go through two go through two go through two do it again another treble crochet twice around your hook let's do one more treble crochet
that we've made. See, we've made our second corner. Here's a corner and here's a corner. So now we're going to go back. We're going to repeat this, this section, this section over here. So we've done six treble crochets in this chain space. Our next chain space, three double crochets. One, two, three. Three double crochets in that chain space. Move to your next chain space, three single crochets. One, two, three. So there's our there's our pattern. So we just need to mirror this over here in the next three chain spaces. So we're going to do single crochet three times, double crochet three times, treble crochet three times, two chains, treble crochet three times all in that one chain space. So I'm going to do this with you. Three, single, one. Am I in there? Yes. Come on. Two. And three. Next chain space, three double. So there's one, two, three. Next chain space, we're going to make our corner. So we got to pack a lot into there so we can make a corner. So three triple crochets, one, two, three, chain two, and three more triple crochets in that same space because we're making the corner. It's because you're watching me. And there we have completed this side. So I'm going to leave you to it. You go across, finish, go to this corner, and then come down and I will meet you over here and show you how to finish out this block. You got this. Okay, I've come around my last corner. I've done my two groups of single crochet and I'm in my last chain space right here and I'm going to do three double crochets so there's one two three and now what we will do is that we're going to slip stitch this double crochet here into the first stitch of that treble crochet there. So put your hook in that first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, pull that through the loop that's on your hook, and you just completed round four. And look how pretty that is. Let's finish off our block. So now that we have this one loop on our hook here, go ahead and chain twice. One and two. Now that we've chained two, go ahead, cut your yarn, pull that loop off your hook. So now we just have our working tail. Put your thumb here and pull up. And that's going to put that right there and secure that, that row. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. That's just so sunshiny to me. I, it just, it's happy. It's not that classic 
granny square blocks. It, it radiates from the center. It's a nice big block. This block is like uh, five and a quarter inches. We're, we're pushing five and a half inches. And uh, look at it in color. Do those colors even show up? Oh, they're too dark. There we go. But look at it in color even. It's like a flower. Oh, I just, I, I do. And they're quick. They're real quick. Once you get the, the uh, repetition down for each one, I mean, they're pretty quick. What's that? How do you do a color change? Oh, well, I could show you that too. Real quick. I started another one. And I've got three colors going here. And I've just attached the scooch in. And I've just attached um, this row together with a slip stitch. And I'm ready to go with my, my next color. And this is how easy your color change can be. This is how I do it. And you do it this way until you find what works for you. But I'm going to leave my... I'm going to cut my tail. And I'm going to leave this slip stitch where I have connected these two together on my hook and I'm going to grab my next color and I'm going to pull my next color through that loop that was on my hook and then grab the tail and tighten it down flush so now the color that I have on my hook will be considered like the loop for the slip stitch and I will go ahead then and chain one and I'll start my next row which in this case would be the treble crochets and that is a real easy peasy way to change your colors real easy and then when you're done you'll have to tie off your colors tie off your your threads and sew them in but that's how you change colors so you can really just go to town and express yourself with so many colors with these radiating granny squares Granny Square motif number 252. Hey, look what we did today. If you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll make sure that I put it in a playlist so it's easy for you to find. Most of my content is crocheting and tie-dye, but hey, it's sprinkled in there a little bit with some jewelry making and some spirituality and, and I mean, who knows? When I wake up in the morning, whatever I'm feeling, that might be what I share with you on that day. And remember, be peaceful and be kind. It's important. I'll talk to you soon.